Hello beautiful people, I am Dimi and tech is my passion. I suspect tech is your passion too since you are on this amazing channel. In any case, in today's video I'm gonna show you the best file explorer for Android TV and not only, to be very precise, it's also amazing on your smartphone if you are using uh, an Android uh, device then it is a great uh, file explorer also for your uh, smartphone as well and I'm gonna show you an extra super special feature at the, almost at the end of the video please uh, bear with me that it is simply amazing especially if you wanna use your smartphone in any case let's jump into the video ah just a quick mention Hit the like button guys, it helps a lot before proceeding. Thank you, thank you very much from my heart. Let's move on, let's see which is this application. The application, uh, we are, okay, first of all, we are inside, uh, where am I? Here I am. We are inside uh, the Project TV launcher, video that I did uh, just previously. If you haven't watched it, uh, click on the top, very, very top in order to watch it now it's an amazing launcher in any case the application i'm saying i'm talking about is the cx file explorer it's a file explorer that why do you need it first of all if you download something from a browser or if you connect a usb stick on your device or if you do not have a i don't know you have a fire tv no fire tv sorry no, also fire tv but if you have a, a TV stick, Android TV, Google TV stick or the Chromecast, you can attach a dongle like this that has a USB-C port and behind, of course, we can also connect the cable, an Ethernet cable, so you will have the best possible experience when streaming. And also we have plenty of USB ports, in this occasion USB 3. You can attach a USB stick, a flash drive, or an external hard drive and so on and have even a better experience so by having this application which I'm gonna launch you will find also the external devices attached to it this is our main screen and of course stay with me I promise it's a great feature that I'm gonna show you at the end first of all let's go and check out what we have on this layout on the top we have a clean manager clean manager means that it will let's select it it will uh, remove all unnecessary garbage, let's say files from your device, so it will clear up space. If it does so, it will make your device faster, especially if you have, for example, the Chromecast, if you have a Fire TV stick and devices like that, that have, or your TV that is using Google TV, Android TV, if it has a small storage, it will clean a lot of space, and especially by removing the cache files. And of course, if you do also an analyze, it will find also the temporary files that still keeps without a reason. But the cache files, for example, are very important sometimes for our system because when the, uh, an application uses some of, let's say, a picture or a lot of graphics, it downloads those graphics, for example, Netflix with the thumbnails, just a mention. It will make it faster when you open it the next time since it will load files locally and not from the internet. But if you are using applications that uh, you not use them uh, as frequently or in other occasions, the thumbnails, let's say, are no more uh, useful because they are outdated. You will not see them on the screen. You do not need them. So I highly recommend you do a clean or a clear, call it however you want. So you can uh, free up, free some uh, of your storage and you will see your device will become faster. The first time you will launch the same application that before was fast, it will be a little bit slower, but no worries. You will have all the other garbage removed. Let's go back onto our file explorer. Here we have four different ops, sorry, options under local. And the first one, main storage, you will see everything, every single folder inside your device. Of course, the most important ones are download, where it downloads, where it saves the downloads that you have, documents, if you have any pictures and uh, music, movies and pictures. These are the most frequently used. And in, as a matter of fact, we have a shortcut directly to downloads. Here we have our apps that are installed 
and recycle bin. Library, pretty much uh, shortcuts into images, audio, videos, documents, and new files, handy if you have just downloaded something and you need to access it. And of course, network. Network is the super duper feature that I was talking about. What you can do with it. Let's select it first of all. You can download the same application, the same file explorer, onto your Android smartphone. Simply go onto the Google Play Store, download it, and once you launch it, select Network and then Access from Network. And select Start the service. When you do so, you will see there is also a username and a password. If you're going to use your Windows laptop or desktop PC, you can connect to the FTP address on the top. Simply enter inside your Windows Explorer this uh, address, FTTP column slash slash whatever it is, and then when it asks you, simply enter username and password. On the Android TV devices, though, if we're going to do the same process, we have to be, I have to mention that, on the same network, of course, connected on your Wi Fi. Select Access From and Boom Sakalaga. On the top, I have my S24 Ultra uh, appearing. If I'm going to select it, it will ask me a password. I'm going to copy it. OK, let's move on. Done and OK. Boom Sakalaga. And the device that is saying is called device is my smartphone. Let's select device. And now I can see all the content of my smartphone. Android uh, 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 documents, uh, downloads. If I want to go into downloads, I have some PDFs. A and I have to mention also that inside this file explorer, there are some mini apps that I'm going to show you also in a bit, which uh, can read the uh, movies, the H can play movies, read documents, and also edit them. Do not expect something like the Word, but it's very handy sometimes, perhaps not for you, but for some may. Uh, music player and also picture imager, uh, image viewer, sorry. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, okay, if I'm gonna go into the DCIM folder, which is the folder where every Android smartphone will uh, save all the photos, let's go inside and then select camera. As you can see, I have inside my videos and my images. The ones that uh, cannot be shown are because they are from my iPhone and they have a different uh, file type. But for example, all the JPGs, boom, saga like a baby, once again, very nice. And uh, let me give you also a sunrise because I'm a very romantic guy. Ooh, sunrise. <laughs> okay, as you can see, very, very, very handy and of course you can transfer these files from your smartphone wirelessly onto your uh, tv your uh, tv box tv stick or even the external drive you have attached to that device or the usb stick and so on very 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 useful i highly recommend it in order to find it of course you need to go as i've mentioned into google play store simply select cx uh, File Manager, let's enter it, uh, CX File Manager, boom, zagalaga, and uh, where mine says open, yours you should say install, then you have to open it, of course, and the magic will happen. What do you think about this application? Is it useful for you? I will make also other videos regarding uh, Android TV because... Uh, I've uh, got to know that a lot of people do not know the immense possibilities that an Android TV or a Google TV, TV or box, uh, whatever it is, can give you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go bananas on the like button. Dislike if you didn't like it. I can take uh, critics. Just uh, I hope it's uh, honest. On the other hand, do not forget to subscribe on this amazing channel that offers you always the best. <laughs> Content is keep coming out of the oven. <laughs> we will bake some stuff. Dimitrology.com, our website. And uh, of course, I'm a very social guy. So you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, Dimitrology. Tech is my passion. 
and uh, as always we will catch up on the upcoming video thank you all for watching